Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Code with the Italians. Today is Design with Italians. Hi, Chris. Welcome back. Hi. Thanks for having me. Um, so today is a special design episode because it's a very hands-on design episode because uh, Chris took pity on Evan's uh, design skills. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> it was too good to let go. <laughs> plus, plus, consider we need your uh, reactions, your genuine reaction for our uh, new collage of your video reactions. <laughs> Uh, and uh, the the 2022 wrap up is gonna be just me like with weird phases over over the weeks. Um, but anyway, anyway, thank you, Chris, for for this. Okay, so um, as Even I was saying, he's muted. Oh my god! No, no, no I fixed it. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. It was uh, the oh. usual thing where Skype changes the way uh, uh -huh. the the channels are sent to OBS. I fixed that. Okay. Um, so yeah, what I was saying is we're gonna be. Uh, what I was saying in less nice terms is, <laughs> Chris is going to uh, show how to redesign an application. In this specific case, uh, one of Evan's free apps on the Play Store, um, and is gonna show us how to do it in uh, in Figma. It's kind of a follow up from the previous session where he explained how Figma works. Uh, but th today we're actually putting those notions uh, in action. Uh, before we start, maybe even you want to do some uh, introduction on the app and also the event talk. Yes, <laughs> let's do the event talk. So I'm uh, thank you. It, I, I'm very I'm very um, fond of this T-shirt. This was the T-shirt that I was wearing during my first public uh, public speaking uh, talk at conferences. Uh, it was uh, Dreadcon Berlin 2015. And I was nervous as fuck, and I was also 20 kilos heavier, so that's good. Um, so, in at the beginning of my Android career, um, I was starting playing with a lot of stuff, and I had a, a phone gap uh, era because I didn't. I was doing web, so I was like, okay, let's try. Eventually, I started with. Um, Android apps, and I needed a pet project because this is this is how I learn stuff. I need to build shit. And at the time, I also got you know I, I had a Kindle, and I started uh, trying books and things. And I was looking for a way to uh, download free books because there was a top hundred free book um, chart on on Amazon. So you could actually go there and download free books. So you have to understand that the thing was very, very, very uh, bad because uh, free books in Italian, you mostly end up with Dante Alighieri, Divina Commedia, and that kind of shit because those are the free ones, very old literature things. But nevertheless, it was a good exercise for me to build an Android app. Yeah, PTSD match for phone gap. Uh, and so I started building Kindle gratis and I started building it in Italian and in English. The app was okay, it was working for me. Um, and eventually I was like, okay, can we try to um, add some localization? Because I was also studying, you know, how you localize Android apps. And I, I added German. I added German. Um, as a like Google Translate kind of German. So it was a very, very rough German translation. But eventually, the uh, user base started growing. You know, who knew? I was always fond of analytics, so I started looking at why, you know, I'm, I'm like doubling uh, the, the amount of users. And, uh, and in a couple of months, the app was basically 80% German users. And I was like, wow, this is fascinating. And, and the numbers were going up and the numbers were going up. I stopped using the app. But as I was saying uh, before, I was telling Sebastiano and Chris, 
that's the the worst for a developer because you build something for yourself and then you realize that it also solves a problem for somebody else. Uh, now you don't have the problem anymore, but a lot of people still have the problem. So now you have to maintain. You just build yourself uh, yourself a cage, basically. But I kept uh, I kept Kindle Gratis as a nice playground because it also gave me the popularity gave me a nice opportunity to experiment stuff on a fairly big scale because I I had quite an amount of users over the years I added more languages and. I added Brazilian, all like Portuguese, Brazil, um, and happened another wave of users taking over the user base because now Brazil is my largest uh, user base. Brazilian people are more like, you know, they, they uh, passed uh, German. So this is a very nice... Uh, example, I always talk about the app because it started as an experiment and now it's something that I have in my resume. Uh, it has more than 1 million downloads. Uh, I got a lot of hate. I got a lot of shutting down on the Play Store. Uh, Google killed the app a couple of times. I I worked out with the legal office uh, for Google and Amazon to, to get the app on the Play Store again, so it's a nice project that I that I'm very uh, attached to, uh, but I never did. I have never done design like like the real design work on it. Um, more more recent apps, uh, I had a different approach. Sebastiano uh, forced me to ask for help to a, a, like a professional designer, so I paid people to actually forced. design my apps. Uh, strongly recommended. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Strongly recommended. So I, uh, you know, I'm also. I was like, no, I can, I can, I can do design, but then you can't. Actually, you can't. So uh, as you are a professional, there are professionals for design. Just, just go, go to them. Um, so I really appreciate that we are running another experiment with Kindle Gratis on the UI part uh, with Chris today because, yeah, because it's a nice project and it's basically the project on Android because it's just a bunch of lists. <laughs> so it's it's pretty much the, the I mean, there are to-do lists and the Pokemon app. That's the thing. So consider this the Pokemon app, <laughs> but with books. So uh, <laughs> I think that a lot of people can relate when they look at, the, at my app. So, um, and yeah, there was <laughs> there was a design intervention, <laughs> yes. And the idea is uh, just because we are what we are doing here is related to Jetpack Compose, I'm gonna rewrite the app in Compose now that we have um, a new design. So I'm not, yeah, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna um, build the new design with Android views, but I'm gonna leverage, you know, this opportunity to uh, to actually uh, migrate the app to Compose. So yeah. another experiment. Kind of reminds me, uh, I need to try and see if I can get some Compose stickers from somewhere. That'd be good to send to people. Fair enough. It's great. Mm. Yeah. If only and we knew someone see, at Google. I love emoji. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if only we knew somebody at Google that can send us stickers, or can we can exchange stickers with, right? <laughs> uh, so, what stickers do you want? Yeah. Compose Studio. <laughs> Compose Android Studio. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's... We actually don't have a lot of the stickers, but I can get on it. Um, especially if, if if Virginia will work with me to make them, that would be cool. I mean, nice. We are, and this is kind of a surprise, but we are planning to get uh, Spike stickers. And the Spike drawing was done by Virginia. So, you know, it's just yeah. keeping with the theme here. <laughs> are you, are you muted? Spike. No? Yeah. There? Yeah, there was a, no, anyway, there's, there's some like, there's a duck. I can't, I can't find the sticker right now, but. <laughs> <laughs> our, our UX team, our uh, Android developer UX team has a duck uh, sticker that we only distribute internally. But, you know, I could give you a few of them because we printed out a bunch of them and 
Um, nice. In I don't know what to speakers. do. I love it. I don't know what to do. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, congrats on uh, shipping dolphins. Nice. Ship. Dolphin. Shipping what? Oh, dolphin. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah. It, it all came like in a weird order. It was like Bumblebee. And then I was like, wait, where's Chipmunk? And then it was like the next day, it was like Chipmunk. And then I was like, wait, where's Dolphin? And then two days later, Dolphin. I was like, I guess that's, I didn't realize that was our schedule, but I <laughs> thought it was all going to be on one day, but it was like uh, it was, it was three days. You had a time. So, yeah. <laughs> because you think there is a schedule. It's actually, they are rolling dice. You know, it's like more like a... <laughs> roll D20 and see what day roll you're D20 shipping. For... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, D30, actually, in this case. A, D, a D30, yeah. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, I'm super excited. I'm super excited. So, how do you imagine this? Sebastian, um, please. I, let's see. Wait. Uh, so I can find I... the user. Yeah, find yeah. The yeah. People Hello. There's store. still me on the screen right now. Hello. Yeah, your your screen oh. is visible. Is visible, Chris. Oh, my so. screen's visible. Yeah, yeah. Now. Gotcha. Um. Yeah. So I think the the link is in the the chat. Also, if people wanted to actually follow along in Figma. Um, oh, nice. But but we can. Uh, I can share the link. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. Share we the can... link so I can add it to the notes because I I lost it in the chat. Please. Yeah, I think a couple. I'm pretty things. sure so... that somebody uh, is gonna join on Figma, like you know, Trolley McFace kind of. <sighs> pretty, pretty much. Yeah. Well, oh, there's there's some people in here. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Fabio. <laughs> um, Hello. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think. Well, we so I'm using the material theme builder, at least for colors, and um, the default typography is, I think, Roboto. But I was thinking, like, if we put color aside, we could think about font. So I don't know if you want to stick with Roboto, or you want to go something different. <laughs> I mean, font, uh, font, you, you say, font, it, you font, say it like font. I know what I'm doing, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Even if you have a strong, a strong opinion about this, I was like, "What are you talking about? Just help me! Just help me! Do whatever you want. Help me!" <laughs> um, no, I just stay well, with the, the the one because I I yeah. don't know better. I guess what we should do though is um, let me. I think I'll create a couple of components just to get a feel for what we want to put, and then we can always mess around with the fonts later. Um, all right, so. We have this top app bar, but uh, let's take. So the I took all the screens from the Play Store. Um, yes, something think... that is missing. I just want to give you because you you don't see it on the Play Store for like I don't know maybe you reasons because I didn't want to show. But I went for the uh, navigation drawer here because I have uh, ads at the bottom of the screen. There is a sticky banner. So I didn't know how to do bottom navigation with also the ad. So I went like, okay, maybe a navigation drawer is best. But please keep in mind that you know at the bottom of the screen uh, there is a like there is an ad like a sticky banner. Ad. I I have a question for you, and I okay. think you're gonna hate me for this. But have you thought about putting the ads in the list instead of a sticky banner? They are also there. Oh, okay. They are also there. I also have native ads in the in the in the list. All so, the ads. Yeah. I I mean experiment. You it, it depends which A B test you are in. Ah. Uh, you, get, you get also interstitial. The thing is serious, man. I worked on this stuff for a long time. Yeah. I mean <laughs> considering how much time you're spending on it, it's fair that you put the ads yeah. to pay for your time, honestly. Well, I mean, but everything is done uh, legit. You also have the consent screen. You know, everything is GDPR or everything because they shut you down very quickly if you don't do it properly. So, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So I think. Yeah, the oh, nice. Be... Maya is suggesting a classic but readable font that reminds me of paper books. Comic Sans, you are the worst, Sebastiano. <laughs> uh, I also suggested an alternative. 
Which one was it? You know that Samsung, Samsung has the fake Comic Sans on their phones. There's also that. It's also worse. Okay. No. Jesus. No. Okay, Chris, explain. <laughs> um, no, I'm just... So I think what I was thinking of is... I, at least it seems like the core part of the app is this list of books. I think everything else is not too difficult yes. to design. Um, so with these cards, uh, let's see. I think... I, I guess we want to retain all of this. And then I guess my thought is... So I recently, let's see if I can pull it up. Um, yes, uh, where is it? So I think I shared this design with you. This was, this is like a pet project, yes. but um, we could always reuse this uh, if we wanted to, but then that's kind of cheating because <laughs> basically just did the design already. <laughs> Uh, but I guess there is some requirements like the favorite, so this won't quite work yes. exactly. So if there is something that uh, that it feels odd in the UI, I can try to give you like a bit of reasoning behind, like the new mm -hmm. label, because you have to uh, think that the free uh, free books list updates on a daily basis, but it's not always a new list. So you have mm -hmm. books that stay free for longer period of time. So when you have like a hundred books in the list, eventually people started asking, yeah, but how do I know which one are the new ones? I don't know if I already bought this, you know, how people are, right? So I, I came up with, a, I store uh, the, the book ID and then I, I can tell you if it's a new book or like a, an already uh, old book. So, and the favorite is a work in progress because you can favorite your books, uh, but at the moment you just have a list of favorites that there is no uh, no backend yet to do fancy stuff. I was planning to play with uh, Firebase, but uh, hasn't happened yet. So that's the, the gist of the two labels, basically. Gotcha. And the, let's see, okay. And the stars, that's from Amazon, right? Yeah, the stars, uh, that's from Amazon. At, at the beginning, when I only had like a couple of languages, I was converting, I was parsing the string to give you actually the stars. But then when I started localizing the app, it became difficult for me to, to do the same thing for, you know, Portuguese on Dutch. Uh, and then I I had to fall back to okay this is the string that I get from Amazon I I just show the string mm -hmm. and yeah trade trade off <laughs> okay and what I guess I'm curious when you're when people are using the app when they look at these list of cards what is what do you feel is like the the information that they're looking for more like do they do you think they like their eyes are drawn to the book cover, or they're actually looking at the rating, or they're looking at the new. Um, so the the top uh, the um, the action menu at the top right has a sorting function, and statistically speaking, um, I I know for sure because I have analytics that they are uh, interested in books with uh, good reviews, so they mm -hmm. prefer. They, they, there is a lot of people that sort the list uh, by, you know, review orders and the review order, and then they start clicking through the, the list. Usually, uh, on average, they go through like a, like a, the fir first 10 books. Like most of the people just go through like click, 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 uh, because, you know, they, they open uh, uh, and... They open, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I will probably, I will probably think that reviews are uh, an element that you know drives attention. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, because like when I when I designed this one, the 
I think the most important thing was this this rating on the bottom right. Um, yeah. So I was just that's why I was curious, like what element in the card is kind of the most important thing to highlight if someone were to like skim through it. <clears throat> I think that the rating uh, may be in a more like, um, a, you know, digestible form, like not mm -hmm. a string or like more. I mean, I like your, uh, uh, I think it's a progress bar. I don't know how you, you, you designed it, but the idea of, um, yeah, the stars or reviews and somehow it could be cool to emphasize. Yeah, because I think the stars... I think because it does tie to Amazon, we can keep the stars concept. Um, nice. But I'm wondering, yeah, I guess a couple of ideas I had was you could have, you could have like a single card like this, like a row, or we could do like a grid of books. I think a grid of books though mm -hmm. is more interesting if you're like exploring, which maybe this is what you are doing. Um, so so I, I tried the, um, I tried the grid uh, just with the covers uh, in mm -hmm. the past. Uh, and I think that uh, at the moment you can have it as a, a possible uh, settings, uh, be but people complain because my um, they complained that they couldn't read the title of the book from the cover because the cover was too small. Uh, and my demographic is very specific. It's like 45-ish uh, women. So <laughs> I had to, I had, well, I mean, that's, that's what you, what you get. Uh, so you have to uh, be grateful for the user base. And uh, so I went back um, to have the card like this, the single book. But if you really want a grid, you can probably enable it in settings. I can't remember. Yeah, but because I didn't want to throw it away, so I made it, uh, I made it uh, toggleable. I see. Okay. So I guess just to, to give you an idea, what what are, I already tried, right? I don't want to sound like uh, bad. I I like the idea, and I actually mm -hmm. tried tried it, but it didn't work out. Uh, users. And then I noticed too the you have this background color that does that take like the dominant color from the book cover or what is that it's random? It's done with the palette, mm -hmm. uh, and I think it's it's taking the yeah one of the dominant thing. I, I, I can check the code, but it's doing the I, I'm using the the palette compat, you know the the library. Um, mm -hmm. And I can tell you which color is actually taking. Um, is that a design element you want to keep too? I, I I don't have a strong feeling about this. I have it just to make the app a bit more colorful, not knowing anything about you know how to do proper things. I was like, okay, because imagine without that, either you have everything white because Oh, you know what, what I don't know what to put there um mm -hmm. or sh or or should I pick another color and then at that point it's like a, a, an unconscious decision and what if I'm wrong so I was like okay let's try the palette library maybe it's uh, it's cool you know and eventually I went for that uh effect so but I see. I, I don't have a strong opinion it was more just let's make it a bit colorful mm -hmm. yeah because uh, I was thinking you could, I guess for, for me, you could get rid of it here on the list, but you could still use it if there's like a detail page for the book. Um, the, the de we don't I have a detail no details, page. Right? It just goes to No, Amazon, because right? the, it goes to the Amazon website for simplicity. Uh, but yeah, so that's the, that's the main flow. Okay. All right, so then I guess, I guess we can take, well, this is a nice card for inspiration, but um, material loves rounded corners, so we can do that. Uh, I think what I need, I do like that uh, font that you sent in the chat. Yes. Um, yeah, that one, <laughs> that, that was, that is a nice font. Uh, 
Thank you, Sebastiano, for picking the, the phone. Ah, just uh, to give you Liam an idea. is not for here. People. Someone has to do that. <laughs> yeah. For, for people watching us, uh, I'm using Palette to get those, that background, and I'm specifically getting the dark, vibrant color. Now, consider, consider that if I knew what I'm talking about, but yeah, uh, that's the dark, vibrant. Yeah. I, yeah, I, lo I love the I love the idea because it simplifies a lot uh, for people that can't design. <laughs> well, All right. It was so, easy to make it colorful, right? Yeah. Well, we could still. Um, yeah, maybe I'll think about it. I'll think about it, but we can yeah. we can add the color back later. Um. So I think this is. So I, I like this uh, rounded corner shape here. Um, there is some elevation, so we could see why is the gray not cornering? That is weird. Oh, okay. Um, but I think we could round it even more. So I think this is this looks like eight or 12, um, but mm -hmm. I think in material three, uh, if we go back to, one thing, yeah, if we go to the website, like everything's very round um, in material. Yeah, definitely. So we can definitely go more round. Um, like I think the card, some of their default components, the cards, actually they're a little rounder now. Um, but they don't actually have the, oh, here we go. Specs, here you go. Let's see, specs, surface. Oh, they're all design tokens. This is maybe a little more confusing. Um, Corner. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Twelve. Well, ah. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is, uh, it is definitely rounder than than mine. Yeah. Well, I'll go sixteen. Um, just because right. I like I like rounding things even more. Oh, and this book yeah, is yeah. sixteen too. So. At least right. you're so consistent. This... <laughs> yeah. Um. And I think you know material like here. I think in your original card you had some padding in the middle. Uh, or sorry, padding around yeah. the content. We could keep yeah. that. Um, I mean, I like. I don't know. I went, Is it like, a good this, thing? But I think it depends. Like because there, so the reason I did it this way with this previous design was because um, here the the background kind of gives enough contrast between the card and yeah. the cover. But I yeah. think if you have a white background with a white card, then you know it. You could you need some kind of padding to kind of show the separation. And I think it also depends because I think in material three now, there's not really a use of elevation. So I think if we remove elevation, then it's like we now have to use shape and color to kind of differentiate the background from the cards that are sitting on top of it. Yeah. Which is kind of I tricky. mean, I ele elevation for me was useful because again, what color do I pick for the background, right? The, the, the whole activity background, I don't know. Should I okay. pick like a light orange or like a light gray or some sort? I never had the confidence to say, yeah, pick this one. So I went for like either the, like there is like a light pink or whatever it is. I, I, I don't even remember, but you know, I, I don't know. So. Yeah, well, I, actually let's see. Um, I mean, you could also, uh, it's not very material three, I guess, but you could, well, the way it is, but you could also have all the background being a uh, solid color, like the orange mm -hmm. in this case, and then have the cards that are just white-ish uh, for contrast. I don't know how, how, how will they look? I, I well, never tried. I mean, you, know, you would probably would have look, to... Definitely. Soften the the orange a bit if you were to use it across the whole mm -hmm. page, probably. It's very well, saturated. Like, yeah, because this is a component from the material design uh, community file for cards. Um, these are just examples, though. So, yeah. but it looks like they use kind of a border here. So we could do that. We don't have to do it. Um, but the thing, mm -hmm. the reason I brought it up is because I was trying to figure out what the background color is. And it's surface, so uh, I mapped it incorrectly. There we go. 
but it's so subtle. I wonder if I can change. Yeah, I this. don't know. I mean, maybe maybe I'm on. Uh, it's me on Skype, but I really don't have enough contrast to understand. The, I mean, the card looks a bit darker here. I don't know how is is looking on the stream. Uh, yeah, the, the one in the the one in the kind of in like the layout. A, I mean, it's like an off white. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Well, we can maybe let's maybe I'll just follow this design for now. See material system. No. Gratis theme. Oh wait, where'd it go? There we go. Okay. Oh, with the border. Okay. Yeah. Not super in love with that, but it's okay. <laughs> um, and then I think, so in Figma, you can add padding to any frame. And so in this case, we don't have any padding. So I will just set the padding to, I think the guidelines say it should be 16. Um, oh, this is getting in the way, sorry. Um, so it's 16, but then this is kind of in a very awkward order. So I think you take, I'll at least take the author and the title and put that in its own layout. Um, I don't know why it's so big though. Let's see. Oh, right, right, right. There we go. And then this, this should be, I don't know, fill container. There we go. Just move over the stars thing for now. Um, Oh, actually, I'll cut this. All right. So then, why is it looking like this? Uh, because let's see, we have oh, okay. That that okay. So really, this should do fill container. There we go. Nice. And this should fill container. There we go. But I don't know why my height disappeared. Oh, because <laughs> there's a random set of padding in between. There we go. <laughs> or, yeah. Cool. So I think what was... Actually, we can take this cover and... It is an image, so it's not fixed height. You do fill container. Yeah, that mm -hmm. stretches it a little bit, which is kind of... Mm -hmm. Wait, I don't, why is it stretching like that? No, that was weird. I don't know why it's stretched, but it's not supposed to stretch. Um, but anyway, I think when you do it in code, you can just say, you know, the container's this big yeah. and then it will crop. Yeah, just gives the idea big. anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Then here we can say the padding between the items is maybe eight or maybe 12. And this, uh, what is that font? It was Prakta. Okay, let's see if this is available. It should be available in Figma. Um, yeah, hopefully. M3 title, but I think what I'm trying to do here is, this is, ah, okay. So this should use our Kindle gratis style. Uh, where do we go? Title? Maybe? Title. Yeah, there we go. All right. And then the font. Ooh. Oh, it is there. Yeah. Noise. Ooh. What was it? How it's called? Prata. Uh, where did it go? Yeah, Prata. Prata. Okay, fancy. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. It's a serif. It has to be fancy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then this is... Oh. For, the, for the title. And this is like a subtitle of sort. Yeah, this one could be, let's see, headline. It's more of a... Maybe it's a label. Sometimes these type files, these type styles don't quite match semantically. Yeah. Um, I think they... They map nicely if you use default components, which maybe I should be doing, but I think that's, 
I will say that's the irony of being a designer is like we have material design, but then like as designers, we're like, oh, this is a great baseline, but I want to do something else too. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> but it's, I think that's the beauty of it though, is um, it's, it's not meant to be, you know, the final design. It's meant to, oh, there's yep. no medium. There's only regular. Um, you're kind of supposed to take it as the baseline and then go from there. Um, but not everyone has a designer on staff to, to do that kind of exploration. Yeah, but, so. yeah. Luckily, luckily for me, I have friends. Yeah. <laughs> so the, <clears throat> the font that you're using for the author name is the same font, but different, uh, or is a different style or is it completely different font? Uh, this one? Is it? The the second one, the the author name, is it still Prata or it's a different size, or is uh, it a different it, font? It's still Prata, but it's a different uh, okay. style. So yeah, it's a different style. size. Okay. Um, it's a different. It's sixteen, okay. and it looks it looks like at least in Figma, it's setting the line height to twenty four, and then the letter spacing to point one. Um, mm -hmm. I think that is inherited from the default type styles for Material 3. Mm -mm -mm. And so these are, when you run the theme builder, it'll generate this uh, large thing over here that shows you like the full spread of all the tonal palettes you have, the light and dark theme, the light and dark surface colors, um, or surface variants, and then the type ramp. Um, but by default, I think it's Roboto. And so I think Material expects you to, to change the font. And so I kind of just did it piecemeal where I went to each one. Um, so the other thing for viewers is that, yeah, when Material Theme builds this, it creates all these styles within the Figma file that can be mapped. And so it doesn't automatically, it's, it's not automatically mapped to your components. And so that's what I was doing earlier was manually mapping it. So here, like this text is just text, but then you can map it in Figma to a known style, but you can also break it and just do it, you know, hard coded, I guess is the best way to think yeah, about it. Yeah. yeah. But then this allows us to change it across the app if we ever make stylistic changes um, with the font widely. Nice. Um, but then you can see, so the reason I did this is I made it a component already, and then I put it in here just to see like how it responds. Um, mm -hmm. Not every designer, not every design, designer does this. Maybe I do this because I think about it more from an engineering perspective, but. Mm -hmm. Um, we're thankful this, for that. <laughs> yes, I was actually I was thinking the same thing. Thank God, uh, somebody <laughs> thinks about this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody think of the coders. <laughs> yeah, somebody thinks of the coders. Yeah, that's the, exactly my no. Because I mean, from a from I I don't know anything about this stuff, right? But I'm I'm focusing on the a card on the left, the one that Chris is is editing on the fly. And I constantly keep an eye on how it ends up looking on the on the phone, right? The the screen that you are actually changing right now. They they look different, right? Because the text, of course, is stretched the card. Uh, so my mind is already going in, in that direction. I was like, okay, this is not gonna look the same way that is on the left. So there are gonna be compromises. And the the first thing that I was going i mean i was thinking should i ask him if we do ellipsis at the end how many lines do we want to do the text view <laughs> and because <laughs> because yeah like because that's pdsd much right <laughs> is yeah. it gonna be three lines four lines uh do we do ellipsis how how do we do that uh but this is a fascinating exercise because i i, I never you know you, you you usually as a developer you just get the the outcome or you know you you don't even know how many design sessions and iteration you just get oh this thing on figma tada and now you build it so this is very useful for me to understand also the process of building the ui from a designer point of view i love it yeah cuz the yeah interestingly with text um figma doesn't have it, unlike code where you can just say, you know, ellipsize the text um, or clip mm -hmm. it, uh, Figma doesn't have that ability at the moment, but I think they are working on that on that because it is a frequent yes. requirement for designers. It's like, so in this case, yeah, it looks great 
on a, you know, but this is like a smaller Android phone, but on a, this would be wider. And so yeah. I think the other thing I would consider too is like this font's pretty big. Um, it's like 22, so we could make it smaller. Like, I guess if I compare it to the screen on the left, it's, this is a little smaller, maybe because it's mm -hmm. Roboto. Um, mm. But the other, yeah, the other thing is like, you could just say, actually, you know, we'll just cut it off after two lines. Um, I can't do yeah, this well, elegantly, elegantly in Figma, but. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I was just, I don't, I don't want to uh, disrupt. I was just thinking, you know, the, the, because the mon monkey brain just starts going through, okay, how do I implement this? Uh, so, yeah. Nice. Yeah, so I think, well, this is in the card. So, so funny thing, right, is like these corners are not exactly harmonizing. Like, it kind of looks a little weird. Probably because this is 16 and then the card is 16. So maybe this could be 8. Oh no, actually, this is 12. But uh, that looks good. So it kind of looks like it actually fits inside of it, if you know what I mean. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's, it's smaller. Apartment. Yeah, it's a, it's a, yeah, because I think it's, I think that's, I don't, I don't think everyone pays attention to this as much as I do, but I do. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's. I think when you have these rounded corners so near each other, you kind of want to make them feel like they fit within each other, like mm -hmm. kind of like a, a layer of sorts or a layer, or like a layer diagram. Or, so that, yeah. So yeah, when you zoom out, that looks a little better. I think when you put it in that context, or yeah. I mean, you could also totally get rid of corners too. Um, but, no, but I like the corner because it is. It yeah. has a. It's kind. It's pointy, but it's not super pointy. You know, it's not sharp. Mm -hmm. So I like the idea of having a, a bit of rounded. Yeah, I think. Well, one thing. Yeah, I think we do ellipse size this. Well, this this font is quite big now that I look at it. <laughs> um, free zoom out. So maybe we should actually make it smaller, and I think what we could do is just choose a different size. So title, the medium is, is that too small? Mm, it's probably. Yeah, because they jump fine. from like 24 to 16. Yeah. 22. Uh, it's uh, quite a jump. Maybe 18 is a good one. Actually, I'm curious what the, what the spec says. <laughs> let's check. Um, let's check. It says title. Fair enough. But but which title? There's so many titles. <laughs> All of them. All of the uh, above. I might be on another page sometime. Yeah, like maybe the... guidelines. There is implementation. Yeah. Yes. I always find this a bit confusing about the material uh, three specs that they're split. Oh, here we go. And okay. like... oh, yeah. it's headline. headline. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So there is headline, but which headline. one? <laughs> yeah, there's like uh, 15 of them. Yeah, here we go. Kindle gratis headline. Uh, that's all of oh. them are uh, larger very, than the current very one. Larger, yeah. Yeah. This is. But there is a headline. headline six that you was the 18 <laughs> that you wanted. So yeah, uh, change the font and ship it. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's let's do that. Uh, yeah, I think one piece of feedback I would give it it'd be nice if I could just change the whole font instead of having to change all these styles in in Figma. But but you can point them to the to the video to the VOD. So here you can see the struggle live on yeah. Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too small. Maybe. I think this is actually a good size, but um, nice. wrong font. Yeah, I, I think the other thing to consider, right, is like this Prada font is nice, but then there's only a medium, there's only a regular weight. So if you do want to use any bolding or any other variant, um, you're a bit limited there. So, but another thing is like, maybe it's not the best card font, but it could be like, this one might actually be a good one to do. Um, like for these title fonts. Oh, mm -hmm. let's see. 
where did it go? Title large. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh nice. Yeah, it actually kind of looks really nice. Oh, that's actually. Top. Oh look at. Uh, I mean, if you compare the one on the left with the one on the right, that you have uh, another uh, phone-like uh, screen. I mean, look at the difference. It's so nice. The 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 left one, the the one in the middle is super nice compared to the <laughs> the one on the right here, the the one with the purple. Oh yeah. That's you know, look, look at the the toolbar. It's way yeah. nicer. The the title. That's a good font for that. Nice. Yeah, I think it's a really good. Yeah, that's true. Well, it's actually, really Sebastian is right. It looks like a like a book or like a newspaper. A kind fancy of thing. book it, title. That's not so. Uh, uh, if you remember what uh, what Liam was saying when uh, it yeah. was in the first design stream, uh, you can have a font for titles that is more baroque in a way. It has more <laughs> character to it, but you want something a bit more neutral when you're dealing with uh, the big bodies of text because obviously it's going to be smaller and if it's very busy visually it's going to be hard to read but this one I saw it and was like hmm has some very nice curvy details would look good and it kind of feels like fancy schmancy kind of <laughs> book thing so that was the whole reasoning for me to pick that one that was nice nice one but then, what do you think? Will we uh, try to use another font for the cards? If you don't like this one for the cards, I mean, how how would it work? I think it's so fine for the would card. It be, would it be like or like common to have two fonts, one for the title and one for the text in the cards? I yeah. don't know because I usually use Robot or Yolo. Ciao. I mean, that's <laughs> for for me. I'm a, I'm a savage, so I don't I don't. But I'm yeah. asking from a design po point of view. Do you have that kind of mindset? Like, okay, this is the title and this is the the card. So we use two fonts <clears throat> for this. Um. Yeah, I think for the title, you could definitely have a card, a different font, and then because I think um. I guess the way I would think about it from the design point of view is one is I, and I kind of think about it as like content, like when there's a lot of content, like especially repeated content, you want to use a font that is more readable because, and that's ten, that tends to be why there's less serifs in content fonts. Um, I think newspapers are the only exception, or publications are because like I think people use like serif fonts like Georgia, but you have to use them at a, they have to be a certain size to be legit to be more legible. Um, mm. But I think, yeah, in, a, in an app, I think I, I think it's totally fine to have two different fonts for title, for a, kind of a very prominent title versus an element that is repeating itself. Um, I actually like the use of Prada here because it kind of gives the app itself kind of this brand of like a book app. And then here, like, hmm. you could use it, but I think you could use something else. I wouldn't use Roboto, but I would use a font that maybe pairs well with Prada. Um, what, what would you actually, use? How do you do the font pairing? Because somebody is asking that in the chat. Maya was saying font pairing, pairing. Uh, but what it? What's what's that? I think probably we we talk with with Liam about this. I can't remember yeah. actually. How would you do um, the the pairing for Prada? Actually, this, I thought this was this used to be on the Google Fonts page. Um, it used to be. Was I was to actually... I was looking at it earlier, and it's not there anymore. Yeah. Uh, the pairing is not there. Apart from the fact that half of well, two thirds of the suggested pairings were always the same two fonts, but <laughs> it was either <laughs> Lato uh, or Roboto or Open Sans. That's it. <laughs> Maybe yeah. that's why they okay. they nicked it. They they pulled. Yeah, they, they were like, the yeah. We need it, machine yeah. learning for this. Yeah. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. We're just gonna reach well, out to the people for the machine learning. Yeah, it's funny because I actually used to rely on that a lot because um, there's just so many fonts on Google Fonts yeah. that I thought, I think in at least in the past, I thought it did make some sensible choices that were not just Roboto or Lotto. Um, so if I don't have that, then it does become a manual process, unfortunately. Um, okay. And this, like, this is, you could spend a lot of time doing this, but this is like also really fun to do for designers is just like picking the right fonts. Cause once you find a font you really love, it really 
really makes the app, I think, or the design. Um, but should I look? Let, okay, so as far as I understand, uh, as I understood, we are looking for a font for the content. Right? You you mentioned that when you want uh, content, you you need some specific feature of the font it has to be readable. You you mentioned that, uh, but how would I look? all those fonts and understand okay this one i know that this is probably like a, a tricky question but you know mm -hmm. do you see <laughs> patterns for for a phone is there something that i can start look at it um something like okay you know if you say oh it, if it's curvy it won't work so try to look for something that is not very curvy yeah <clears throat> i think it depends on the size like Let's because we think that the size because we think the size here is going to be, is going to be eighteen. Um, oh, I can't set it custom, but I usually look at it in context of the size. Here, I think Google Fonts does okay. a pretty good job of doing that. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Wanna wanna and check out there, uh, a wanna, preview? Mm -hmm. Carla with a K. Carla with a K. Okay. Yeah. Uh, actually, let's just break the so, for now. What what I will do is try with the placeholder text that I have, hmm. selecting the the size that I would like to have on the card, and then start looking at the previews, basically, right? Yeah. Okay. Or in in Figma, I think it has access to most of the Google fonts, and so you can kind of do it like we're doing here live. Um, okay. Fantastic. Like if you you can kind of kind of switch between like you can get a high level understanding looking here and then you kind of switch to see it in context. Um, okay. Like I think we just tried Carla and like Poppins is kind of cool. Um, yeah, Poppins is a nice font. Are you going Poppins, for more ge geometric for... though? I guess that's that? kind of the question. Are you going for more geometric or more uh, Roman? Uh, I don't know. It's a good question. <laughs> ah, actually, Maya Maya is suggesting a uh, website for the pairing in the chat. Uh, it's something that this? I can probably add to the fontjoy.com. Fontjoy. Fair enough. I mean, looks legit. Why is this so big, though? Ah, there we go. Thank you, Maya. Oh, by the way, um, because we are here, I shipped everything. So if you want to give away uh, in the last uh, couple of weeks, or if you bought uh, stickers, uh, we shipped everything uh, this morning. So fingers crossed, yes. a few days is going to... Sure. Yes, yes, yes. I mean... Maya is getting stickers, and other people in the chat are also starting, starting to sound stickers. like uh, Oprah. Oprah, yeah, you get stickers, <laughs> you get stickers, everybody gets stickers. Um, but jokes aside, it should it should come in a few days. Nice air mail, air mail uh, delivered. So nice, nice, nice. Well, what I was going to do is start to design the start component. Nice. Um, so I took these three icons from Material Design. Uh, OK. And so I think it's, it's like an empty one, like a half empty and a full, right? Filled. Yeah. OK, fantastic. I'm, but playing... I'm creating. Go ahead. I'm playing around with Font Joy, but so far, I don't love the pairings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would agree. Uh, let's see. Yeah, <laughs> I wish, I wish, Mark. All right. Oh, we don't need this underscore black. Yeah. So I'm just cleaning up the, the stars. Yeah. Do we have these it's three very... stars? It's very zen, Chris, watching <laughs> you working on this. It's super, it's like one of those uh, 
ASMR videos on YouTube, you know, people <laughs> just doing uh, carpentry or like, you know, wood, wood carving, but with Figma. I love it. <laughs> it's so relaxing. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, I think that's one thing. Yeah, I want design, you're just going to get in this mode of just Zen warrior. Oh, yeah, I oh, guess right. we use primary. That's nice. All right. Well, that's actually now, a nice one. Now that we have this component, I think we can, so, oh, whoopsie. But uh, about about the colors right, uh, right now, because you mentioned primary, did you run the team builder with some specific color, or is it the default set, or did you pick the one from the app? Looks like the icon colors. Uh, I used the Kindle oh, icon. No. Oh, nice. Yeah, so that's how it did it. But you can, you know, we could, well, uh, let's see. I'm going to regret doing sure? this. Yeah, are you <laughs> sure? Uh, I think, oh, wait, yes. Yeah, and if we picked a different image, well, let's see. If we go back to, so no one, I can't just pick this thing on the left from Figma. Um, Sounds like another piece of feedback. Yeah. Yeah. I can I can type write down the minutes so that you can tell them oh go to this minute in the stream. Yeah, like we let's just grab his home screen. Yeah, if we go back here and then we oh, where'd it go? Does it like web so it. Yes it does. And then boom. Then see it updates the theme nice. and all the colors. Oh, nice. good thing it didn't change the font styles. Um, but <laughs> that's good. That's good. That was a close <laughs> one. Yeah, but you can see it changed at least the stars. I haven't used most yeah. of the color of over the app, but to be honest, like this this dynamic color picked is this kind of weird brown, which I'm not super in love with. Um, eh. Yeah. Go go with your with your heart. I I'm telling you, I'm not uh, strict on branding. Let's <laughs> let's go with. No, I want. I, we want a refresh of the UI. So let's refresh. So even at some yeah. point, you also have uh, dynamic colors. So yeah, yeah that's at true. some point, at some point. Yeah. So we can. So now I'm just messing around with the there we go yeah so now we have this rating component and then we can put it in this card uh but that is a little funky so i will put it in here instead there we go and then i think you know what we should do is take these two wrap them in their own layout and then make this fill the container oh no actually do space between yeah um does it matter that there's no uh wait okay does it matter that there's no um text does it have to say 4.3 or is this okay i'm i mean if we go with the stars i'm gonna find a way to get the data out of the string so it's just gonna mm -hmm. be some multi-language parsing i can do it i mean if sebastiano was able to parse version numbers i can parse some God, stars. don't remind me that oh i still yeah, have no, PTSDs I will remind. from version names Ugh. you weren't there man you weren't there okay let's see actually i wonder it would be nice if i could align this thing to the right why can't i do it Oh. oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, but then that happens. It aligned <laughs> everything, but it, it's not aligning it on the on the card on the left, right? The, the template is aligning it only in the on the phone. I say it's weird. Is it because you set like a fixed size for the container? No, I. Oh, actually, yep. There we go. Okay. Nice. Uh. There we go. Okay. Nice. Oh wait, why? Oh, why is it doing that? Because no, 
That's right. This is, oh, that's why. <laughs> this was centered. That was weird. Okay. That looks better. Yeah. Um, but this cover is maybe a little too big. Well, the other thing too is like, I think the reason, see, there's just so much padding that by the time you get to the content, it's like pretty mm. small. Yeah. Because this yeah. is like 48 DP now. Mm. So that's kind of why I was on the fence about padding on the card, um, at least in this style. So mm. I don't know if you. I mean, that, that much padding, it feels like 112 notifications. Oh, <laughs> oh no, you didn't. Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh, no <man>. comment. <laughs> oh, damn. Man, that thing is so round and so <laughs> Can I say, for the 24 hours I've used Android 12 L, actually, on, on the Pixel, uh, I've actually not minded the notifications, but I was coming from the iPhone, which is were horrible in that regard. <laughs> wow. Like it's wow. just I like. if they took the notifications out of iOS, it wouldn't make a difference for me. I keep missing them all the time. And yeah. they take an enormous amount of space. Even if it's just like one line, it takes half the screen. I'm like, but why? I really I I really like the the new version of the cover, Chris. The fact that it's not rounded on the right side, it's like sharp mm -hmm. on the. Uh, I like it. It's nice. I, uh, yeah. well, now I'm thinking. Now I'm thinking. Can can coil do that? <laughs> Should I do it in compose? Uh, it's not <laughs> your problem. It? It's not your problem. You just put it inside of the card, and the clipping will clip it for you on the corners that are oh. uh, outside of the card outline. If so, I don't. You don't, don't set you don't set the corners margin? on the image. Uh, you uh -huh. just set the corners on the card that contains them, and uh, you set uh, you put the modifier to clip it to clip contents, oh, nice. and you're done. Shit, this is nice. Yep. Yes, Clippy will take care of it, Mark. Yeah, Clippy. I was thinking, oh, we need that man. We need that plugin, Sebastian. At some point, we need the Clippy for uh, for IntelliJ. I mean. I don't want to say there isn't one. <laughs> there might be. Oh, no. It's coming. It's coming. Oh. Clippy for Figma. Imagine Clippy for Figma. And we need to start. I mean, we are the right generation to build this shit because this. <laughs> we need to start building these plugins. By the way, you could, because you could I'm running on. Yeah, sorry. Uh, because I'm, I'm running on Windows. Uh, when you put the clip, uh, the paper clip emoji, it turns into clippy. <laughs> oh yeah! Also here, also here. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> but there are no, still no flags, so I still hate. Yeah, them. I don't understand. Well, I understand why they're just too scared to put flags there. I don't uh, approve it because there's all sorts of problems you can have, especially certain flag for a certain country that is not recognized by a certain other country. Uh, so there are many potential headaches if you do. Uh, still kind of bullshit, but uh, I still I still miss they everything. could do the same Every thing. Time. They could do the same thing that Apple does, which is just hide the Taiwan flag if you're a Chinese user. <laughs> like it wow, doesn't exist. <laughs> If if country <laughs> equals China, uh, come on. Um, yeah, no, no, that's seriously how it works on Apple products. Yeah, but I'm, I'm pre pretty much pretty much uh, plausible. But um, so the the component that they're using, the new one, is it like a like a pill label? It's a button or how is it? Does it this have thing? a name? Oh, uh, yeah. a chip. It's a chip. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Um, I think in the in previous material iterations, the chip had more rounded corners. Um, I don't. Yeah, I, I, it was like a pill or sort, right? Yeah. I I think they want this style more, but I also, I mean, when I look at kind of these other styles, these are more into. Actually, I like this. I like this one a lot more. 
Where's this one? <laughs> oh, it's like it's uh, suggestive chip. Oh, okay, I am using the wrong chip. I think maybe I am. I I don't know if I really am, but I think so. These are back. input chips, and then there are assisted chips. Maybe, uh, this is assisted, but you like the input, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many components, uh, man. This thing is huge. See, wait, enable. This one doesn't look right. Why do these all these ones have corners or borders? Where'd that other one go? What variant is this? This is oh, en enabled. Okay, it's enabled. Okay, it is enabled. Label uh, but it is enabled. selected. Oh, okay. Ah, there you go. here you go. Yeah, oh, that's nice. This okay. felt like a bit yeah, too close. This, this is going to be a problem. <laughs> But I guess are we dealing with 360 screens? I don't know. Yeah, or I mean the, can, the alternative uh, is to not have the stars yeah. uh, there, but just have the number, like mm -hmm. one star icon and the number next to it. Yeah, like four point five star, like yeah, just one point five four, four, is a text star, and then four point uh, five. I see. I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, because you could just take these out and then put some text. Oops. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, actually, it doesn't like that. I need to. So because I made this a component, it was like you. It wasn't allowing me to technically modify the component. It was just like hiding things mm. in the component. So I can hide all that and then text. This is auto laid out, isn't it? There's a. Good suggestion from Mark as well, which is to use maybe an adaptive layout where on smaller screens you use the number and use stars on larger screens. Oh yeah, yeah. how how would I do that in Compose? Can I say is it if else? Do I... <laughs> yeah, no, okay. Okay, okay, okay. But if else if else and that's 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 okay. That's the the extent of my uh, <laughs> solution. But I need to put a condition. So can I know if I'm if I have space or not? If I have room or not? Right. Um, it depends but, how you define your breakpoint. Uh, but yeah, as yeah. Fabio's saying, box with constraints is uh, the right thing. It will tell you how how much space you have, and then based on that, you can okay. set the flag and you can pass down the flag to. Uh, child composables and just box with use one version instead of the other. There it's is like, also um... this stuff. This stuff is cool, but yeah. I have no idea how to do it. Box with constraints. Okay, it, it Thanks, works Fabio. the same as a box. Uh, it's like a frame layout but essentially. Constraints. But yeah, it tells it you about it, the the layout constraints. So in the lambda, if I recall correctly, you get a parameter. Ah, okay. So there is a there is a lambda with stuff in okay that you get something, yeah, like like information about space. Uh, yeah, Adam is saying box with constraints is what staggered grid uses under the hood. That's how it can like dynamically configure the number of columns and stuff. Nice, thanks. Box with constraints. Now I need to start playing with more stuff. With more constraints. No, I mean constraints. I have plenty of constraints. Believe me. I. I so I, you need boxes. I need, Is that what you're saying? I need more. I in a, in a couple of months, I'm also <laughs> gonna need boxes because we need to relocate. So yeah, that's Damn. definitely gonna be very, very, very. Do we need uh, a moving with the Italians stream at some point? Yeah. <laughs> shit. I mean, it's gonna be done. Uh, like. In uh, in pieces, I'm. We are. We decided that this tr this relocation is not gonna be like the other fifteen that we did, like you know, renting a huge truck. But we are gonna do like bit bit by bit. So it shouldn't be that traumatic. I am hiring someone to do the job for me instead. I I I hired I hired a crew, uh, and I'm gonna hire a crew for my mother-in-law relocation so that's for sure but our stuff here is not that much uh, yeah. so we can do it ourselves yeah i yeah, have, but I have I furniture from... to move uh that doesn't fit in my car that's the main problem at, at that point might as well yeah 
when I moved from France to Berlin, we had to pay like an international oh God. company, like relocation company. I will never gonna do it ever again because the amount of money was indecent. But yeah, you know, also no alternative. So don't try this at home. People in the chat are trying Rimbo. to get your dog fat. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, but no, but the, the, I I gave him a, a treat already to have him on the on the couch. He just gets off the couch. I don't know. I can probably just put a. I don't want to put a webcam below my desk, under my desk. That's not good for anybody. Uh, just I mean, looking depends looking if you're my, wearing trousers. I guess. No, I'm wearing pants, but you know, I don't want. Then? I don't want to have like my feet live on on stream. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see the truth about the cable management. <laughs> cable management. Nice one, what Adam. do you mean nice cable one. manager? There is it's like mayhem on my desk, Adam. <laughs> I'm not that kind of person. That's why you don't want it. Oh man, I mean I mean I can, I can move the camera. You just get like some trauma if I if I point it to my desk. <laughs> Mark wants the fit. Fit cam. No. Not happening. Shut up. Uh, let's. Be okay. Oh, wait. 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 But the the subtitle, the, the the author font changed. What did you do, Chris? Did you change it to like a lighter or like? Did you change the color? Well, we're wasting no? time. Is getting things to look nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's. I mean, he's doing the same thing that you do with the code. When I start talking, you know, and just <laughs> rambling, blah 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 blah, and then you code in background. Yep. And it's just like you know, code with the with the talking Italian. Uh, oh yeah, but now we also have a background for the card, right? Is it like a light? Purple or something? Blue. Uh, it's, it's a light blue, so it's coming from the surface colors. So sometimes what I do with Material 3, which um, is I kind of play around with these. They create these like surface variants that are mm -hmm. based off of the primary color. And they actually mm -hmm. kind of give you a little more variety with some of the surfaces. So even though, you know, in the guidelines it says for the card it should be surface, I think it's it kind of depends. Like here, you know, you could, depending on the contrast, you could get rid of this border if you wanted to. Um, mm -hmm. That's what I was kind of playing oh, nice. with. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's actually nice. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah, it kind of depends. Like, I think this would look really good on dark theme, but on light theme, it looks good on my monitor, but I don't know if, I still don't know if that's enough contrast uh. <laughs> between between the back so I mean, sometimes having the borders definitely okay. gonna gonna look different on a phone and on a cheap phone is gonna look even more different is there like a plugin for figma where you can check for contrast or do you have to use something like adobe color uh there's plugins they don't have a specific um feature built in but there are plugins i think it's i don't have it uh here but there there are plugins to for you mm. to check contrast. Um, I, I was see. wondering, um, okay. do you do we have something uh, for dark theme, or you will build dark theme from scratch, um, like the the light theme? So, do you have something to automate, like the bulk of it, or? Um... Uh, it's a good question. There are plugins that allow you to use that, but it it at, if you don't use any plugins, it's all manual. So okay. it's, there are some plugins, I think one of them is called like appearance. Uh, I don't have it installed here, but it, because what Figma does is it, it creates these styles here. And so you can see, actually I kind of have an experiment here, but um, like the theme generator for material, and you can't make this column bigger, which is a little annoying. Uh, it has all these colors and then it says light and then there's dark, but then there's no easy way you can kind of set up your file to toggle through it, but I would have to do it manually. So here mm -hmm. we can kind of do that. Like we can, let's see, gratis background and then Dark. yeah. And then this okay. one, let's actually just make sure it's, um, oh, okay. No, oops. That's the wrong one. Gratis background. What would be nice is if they were all just, uh, like a team level, yeah, which it is not. 
Uh, but I think that's something Figma certainly could improve is because I think every, like we all have to deal with dark themes now. Mm. Yeah. See, like now that's, that's kind of annoying. Yeah. Um, because the it, font just got lost. The icons got lost. I understand yeah. what you mean. Yeah. The struggle is real, <laughs> but then then I should, kinda, yeah, I have to do this manually. No, but the, I see. don't want to stress you with this. I was just curious. We also have to wrap up shortly, just FYI. Oh, wow. There we go. Already? Wow, yeah, that was quick. time flies when you're oh, looking. making time things look snazzy. <laughs> yeah, that's actually... Oh, wait. I, huh, I used the dark one. Whoops. Ah! Although, it's it's so it's really not that much different. Um, yeah, this is slightly darker. This read only it? light. This is surface one. Let's we'll go surface one. And then this all looks bad because it's light. So then this should be. Oh, I picked the wrong one. No, I picked the right one. This is the wrong one. This should be light on secondary container. Or so this should be dark. Oh, oh no, there's so many. <laughs> styles god i think i missed well but do you think this is this is more like a um, um team builder problem or like a figma problem uh it's more of a figma problem okay because the, because the I, plugin is generating the palette for the dark theme too. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But there's no way to say get the same color with the same name from the other palette. Okay. Yeah. Like there are there are plugins that allow you to do this, but like you I had to I have to set it up in a specific way and like every plugin treats it differently and so um oh. It gets tricky. Yeah. Wait, that's this, weird. Why? Well, this is great. Oh, this should be. This should be on secondary. No, this should be on. On tertiary container. Oh. Yeah, and then this should be the background. Yeah. Oh, that, I see what happened. I messed that up. Secondary container. This should be. This is in no. That is dark. Yeah. Uh, this should be dark. Oh. Dark on dark. Tertiary. Yeah. Oh, nice. Get that. Oh, this yeah. is so nice, actually. Looks fancy. Wow, wow this yeah. is so beautiful. Uh, and this is this is the. Yeah, that's why I love this because, I will never. I mean, I don't have the skills or the taste to do things <laughs> like this. <laughs> oh man! No, I'm, I'm, I'm generally, I'm super honest with this. This is incredible, and it was just like a couple of hours of well thought experimentation. And wow, look at the difference! I mean, that's, that's it's insane. And now yeah. I, I want to do it. That's even worse yeah. because <laughs> so... now I need to find the time. Damn Chris, it. we'll see you in two weeks for the rest of the designs, so and Ivan will have implemented this in Compose, right? That's yeah, how it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I have two weeks to do the, the mobile version, so we can do the tablet one. Yeah, uh, true. Because apparently, I mean, fun fact, I'm the only one on the Play Store that has actually a use case for tablets. <laughs> Because my users, <laughs> my users are reading on their tablets, and they are also installing a uh, kid or gratis on the tablet. I have a lot of users. Oh, we forgot to incorporate the favorite. We'll have to think about that later. Oh, yeah. You, man, you are watching a master great. at work. Yeah. It's actually very nice. Very nice. It's incredible. Anyway, um, so I, I want to go back for a second to are the... we not giving away stickers today i was thinking. yes okay yes i we i want to just grab the winner uh on youtube oh so, nice. yeah, true. Uh, 
So let's see. We have a few people that are trying to win the IntelliJ license, and the winner is uh, Jesus Manzano Camino. Let me share this with you. Congratulations, congratulations. We are going to reach out on YouTube for the giveaway for the IntelliJ giveaway. Uh, I want to remind you that with IntelliJ Ultimate or IntelliJ Community, you can build Compose for desktop apps. So you can play with Compose and Compose for Desktop is actually very, very lovable, very enjoyable to work with. So keep that in mind that now you are also a desktop app uh, developer. <laughs> Thank you, JetBrains. <laughs> um, what else? What else? Do, do we want to do we want to give away some stickers? Like let's, I let's think it's it yeah. But the keyword today uh is gonna be sparkles. Sparkles, okay. Let me set it up very, 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 very quickly. How do you want sparkles like this? Sparkles like this? Yes. Okay, so let me don't <laughs> sparkles. <laughs> so yes. So if you type uh, sparkles, uh, let's go with this. I just give you yes. If you type sparkles in the chat, you can um, participate to our giveaway. Uh, we are sending uh, stickers uh, for free around the world. So you will see some of these fancy Angry Pizza stickers plus other stickers from uh, our friends at JetBrains, you know, things like this and fancy, fancy, fancy. And so we can, we can, uh, we can send them all around. If you are a subscriber and you win stickers, you will also get the hollow one and you can get it only if you are a subscriber and you can become a subscribers in a few ways um if you have amazon prime you can subscribe for free I'm just gonna drop the link in the chat you can connect your amazon account to your twitch account and you will be able to subscribe to our channel for free you will see on our home page you will see uh subscribe with prime a blue button and it's gonna be free for you and it's gonna be uh like one dollar for us and the dollar goes to buy more stickers and more stamps we are actually also running out of stamps uh yeah we are sending <laughs> we are sending away a lot of stickers lately um so um thank you for supporting us uh i want also to thank you uh, to thank our uh, coffee supporter we had a uh, couple new people joining uh, people buying our stickers you can buy um, you can buy a lot of stuff you can buy the italian point stickers uh, you can buy the the italian point stickers are these ones just to to have you like look at this thing it's super cute and sebastiano is one of the official sponsors of the emoji i am so, the official sponsor of that emoji as the, far as i know the the, emo uh, the sponsor you can buy of course the code with the italian sticker for your laptop you can buy uh like a gazillion uh pizza stickers for you um the only one that you cannot buy and you won't be able to buy is the holo sticker the holo sticker is only for our subscribers that win the giveaway so that's it it's uh that's the deal um and that's it yeah we have a lot of stuff on the on the on the store uh, you can check uh the the, the merch we have people uh here you go. So you can buy, uh, you can buy our T-shirts and things like uh, like that, like a mug. Uh, we we also have an American size uh, pint glass. Uh, that I didn't know the difference between the British one and the American one. Um, 
the one on the story is unfortunately American. So if you have a drinking problem like Mark, uh, it won't be enough for you. Uh, you so, mean that the glass like is normal, too small? That's the problem. Yeah, if you <laughs> if you are like a normal person and a pint is actually like a legit amount for you, uh, please have a look at the at the stick uh, at, at the glass. Um, yeah, I think we are we are good to go. I'm gonna just run the giveaway. I gave. Uh, and congratulations, Carmen, Carmen GH. Congratulations for the um, for the giveaway. Uh, I'm gonna reach out. Also, right lucky now. first time they take part in this. And it's incredibly lucky, Carmen. I'm adding you as a friend on um, Twitch, so we can reach out and we can uh, ask for your um, address or any address that you want to ask to, to ship the, the stickers. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and uh, congratulations. Um, let me sign, I'm gonna just, uh, this is getting, man, you have no idea. We started this, oh, let, let's stream it on Twitch. Now I'm <laughs> like doing things. And You're a post office it. by now. Yeah, I'm mo I'm at the post office. People are like looking at me in a weird way because it's a small town, and I'm buying stamps for letters for like sending stuff in Nepal, in India, and in America. And I'm like, look at me. Can I have some stamps for Italy? No, for uh, the world. And he'll like, you mean Europe? No, I mean the world. But where are you sending this stuff? Australia. Okay, it was <laughs> so you know it's a, it's a very very awkward conversation. Uh, so yeah, but it's it's fun. It's what we do. So what else, Sebastian? Chris, um, I just want to else? take a peek at what Chris has been doing in the background because we were not seeing it, but now we can. And now we have favorites. <laughs> oh yeah, that's so. Oh, yeah. oh look at that. Oh man, yeah. That's that's nice. Good, yeah. I mean, nice. if you if you leave him alone for two minutes, yeah, that's it. You know, design <laughs> happened. That's that's the, the, the beauty of this stuff. Very, uh, very nice. I love it. I love it. I love it. And yeah, I'm super grateful. And now I need to build this because yeah. it's too nice to not have it built. Now you're uh, kind of fucked. <laughs> yeah, but this is yeah this is this is like a, an interesting challenge now because you know at some point i need to try to um spread the the design system or the idea of the design through other screens so you yeah, know that will be also a nice challenge for me as well so that's that's interesting so i'm super pumped i i hope people enjoy this because i love this stuff i love this uh, we also have the sparkles as a next comment message. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, uh, I don't know when that's gonna happen. I guess at some point. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. Um, um, okay, I think uh, it is time to wrap up. Chris, as they say in school, pencils down. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm starting, uh, I'm starting to make this because then yeah, but like... don't don't spoil it. That's next time, next time. Because <laughs> we're gonna, we're also gonna have to do um, like to to think about how that scales to uh, to tablets, as even said, uh, and that's gonna be very interesting. Uh, well, yeah, you know, tablets is always like, okay, do we do two columns, four columns? Does it make sense to have more columns? Do you want to do a different layout? I don't know, you know, why? Like, So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. <clears throat> How do we want to do the, the settings, you know, the category list? Or do we need the drawer? I have so many questions. <laughs> oh, man, this is so bad. Now I am, I'm always thinking, <laughs> what, how do we do this? Yeah, I love it. I love it. OK, so. I am taking your screen away, Chris. Sorry. <laughs> no worries. Pencils down. Pencils down. Thank you a lot. This has been super, super interesting. Uh, like, it's always nice seeing how a professional goes through that sort of stuff. So I, I try to do that sometimes, and I try to design something. And I'm like, yeah, I really wish I were a designer now. <laughs> Uh, cause 
yeah, getting getting like the inspiration, but also you know trying different things and uh, until something looks and feels right, uh, that's much easier to do when you have some uh, some experience under your belt, I guess, and and some knowledge of what you're doing. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the next episode. I think this is super super interesting format. But at some point, we're also gonna have an episode about motion. I don't know when that is gonna happen. At some point, it's gonna happen. I'm counting motion, on that. Motion, uh, motion is serious because I never get the kind of information because you know Figma, boom, it's still that's yeah. it, right? You you have a screen, make it look, make it run on Android. Motion is it's a fascinating topic, and I don't even know what tools are we gonna use, right? That's that's even more, you know. I'm super curious. Okay. So I think it's time to thank everyone. So I'll start with thank you, even for uh, being the guinea pig for this. <laughs> guinea pig. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Chris, again. I uh, really, really like this. And thank you, everyone, who followed us today. We will be here again on Sunday. And on Sunday, it's going to be a pretty interesting uh, stream because we're going to have our friend uh, Alex. And Alex um, has taken a sabbatical of sorts. So he was working for a, a big company. And then, then join on Sunday to find out. This is the, the <laughs> wow. shittiest cliffhanger I've ever heard. <laughs> That's uh, um, wow. But yeah, jokes aside, we're going to have Alex on Sunday. We're going to be talking about not necessarily coding stuff, but more like life choices, what you can do as a developer to give uh, things a bit uh, of, of a change and see how it goes. And then in a week, we're going to have uh, Clara from the Compose team, and we're going to be talking about Compose on nice. uh, non-phone devices, so tablets, uh, watches, whatever else. I don't know what else the, you can use Compose on. Whatever it is, I want it. So. TV, TV. I think, yeah, I think probably, people in the probably. chat are running an experiment on TVs, right? That's fun, okay. um, I, I think. Maybe. I think they mentioned TV at some point, but I don't know what's the state yeah. of things there. Anyway, see you on Sunday. Have a great rest of the day or evening, whatever the time it is for you. And enjoy. Bye. Uh, see you on Discord for the ones that are uh, subscribers. See you there. Bye-bye. Ciao. Right.